round game and it started off really well for you personally. Um, how much has that been an emphasis for you guys as a team, you know, wanting to come out and punch, punch opponents in the mouth right out of the gate? Uh, I think it's important, uh, you know, starting with us as young guys. Uh, you know, I think we had a capability of, uh, you know, defending at a very high level uh, and just, you know, getting that juice going and, you know, showing our older guys, you know, that I know can, you know, adjust to us and, you know, play hard just like us, uh, you know, so I think it's important. And, uh, you know, it, consistency is just the important thing. Uh, it's a long season, a lot of ups and downs, but no excuses. Uh, we got to just figure it out together. Damar said that, you know, on that last possession, he was just, you know, looking to get to his spot and shoot that shot that he practices all the time. Um, how much confidence do you guys have in him when games on the line balls in his hands? I mean, I got a lot of confidence in him. Uh, that's somebody that, you know, when, when he first got here and we built a relationship, I, I would go to the gym at night and see him practicing those shots. So it's crazy, uh, you know, just to see him finally, you know, hit one for us. Uh, you know, I've been waiting for that moment to just see him do that. Uh, so, you know, it's great. Uh, you know, we believe in him, make or miss. Thanks, Tom. Let's go to Tom Orsborn. Uh, just uh, on on um, Luca, the defense you guys did on Luca Dejounte, uh, he came in with three career triple doubles in nine games against you guys. Uh, what are your thoughts on how you defended him tonight? I mean, I I don't care about the triple doubles, honestly. Uh, I mean, he's a great player. Everybody in the world knows that. Uh, so our job is just to you know make the game hard for him and. Uh, you know, it is what it is. We got the win. That's all that matters. Were you surprised they didn't double um, DeMar on that last shot? I think they chalked it up to a blown assignment, but but the double team never come, never came nonetheless. See, they doubled. We want him to take it. Take it. Kobe would have took it with five guys on him. Take that shit. <laughs> all yeah. right. Thanks, Tom. Th thank you. Thanks, Tom. Let's go to Jeff McDonald. Just, just to go back to something you said earlier, Dejounte, were, were you saying that you'd, you'd go in there to shoot at the practice facility, um, and you know, at night and see Demar taking practice in those last second game winners? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, because I'm somebody who loved going to gym at night, obviously before COVID, so I used to run into him all the time uh, and, and just see him on that side doing his thing, and you know, I'm not surprised, uh, you know, especially of his mid range game because I see, I see it every day, I've seen it, you know behind closed doors, everything. So he's got to keep going, man. Keep leading did, the way. Did that tell you something about him um, personally, that he's up there at night working on those, side of, those sort of shots? I mean, I kind of already knew, uh, you know, in this league, you know, you got guys, whatever. Uh, Lou Will actually told me, you know, he's a great person. You're going to love him from day one. Uh, he's a hell of a worker, and he's just a solid dude. And, and DeMar's checked off every single thing on the list, you know, as a person, basketball player, you know, since I've been around. Him.